Have you ever wondered how people communicated before phones, emails, or instant messaging? Before we had all these modern conveniences, there was a simple yet brilliant system that revolutionized long-distance communication, Morse code. This series of dots and dashes allowed people to send messages across vast distances using nothing more than sound, light, or electrical pulses. But how does Morse code actually work? How did it shape the way we communicate? Let's dive into this fascinating system and uncover the mechanics behind it, right here on History of Simple Things. Morse code is a method of transmitting text using sequences of short and long signals. These signals, known as dots and dashes, represent letters, numbers, and punctuation. It was developed in the early 1830s by Samuel Morse and Alfred Vail as a way to communicate through the telegraph. By converting letters into coded signals, they created a system that allowed messages to be sent almost instantly over long distances. The simplicity of Morse code made it incredibly useful. Unlike spoken language, which can be difficult to transmit accurately over early communication lines, Morse code relied on a binary-like system of on-off signals. This made it resistant to noise and interference, allowing clear messages to be transmitted even under challenging conditions. At its core, Morse code assigns a unique combination of dots and dashes to each letter of the alphabet and each number from 0 to 9. For example, the letter A is represented by dot dash, while B is dash dot dot dot. Numbers follow a similar pattern, with 1 being dot dash 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 and 9 being dash 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 dot. When sending a message in Morse code, the timing between signals is crucial. A dot is a short signal, while a dash is a longer one, typically three times the length of a dot. The space between dots and dashes within a letter is brief, but the space between letters is longer, and the space between words is even longer. This structured timing helps make Morse code understandable even when transmitted at high speeds. Morse code can be transmitted in various ways, depending on the medium available. Traditionally, it was sent using telegraph machines, which produced clicking sounds corresponding to dots and dashes. Operators would listen carefully and transcribe the message as they received it. Over time, Morse code expanded beyond the telegraph. It was used with signal lamps in the military, where flashes of light would represent the code. Ships and aircraft used radio transmissions to send and receive Morse code messages, which became a crucial part of emergency communication at sea. Even today, amateur radio operators use Morse code for long-distance communication because it requires minimal bandwidth and can be transmitted with simple equipment. Morse code remains effective in situations where other forms of communication might fail. The invention of Morse code changed the world in ways that might be hard to appreciate today. Before its creation, long-distance communication relied on physical messengers or slow mail services, which could take weeks or even months. The telegraph, powered by Morse code, allowed people to send messages across countries in mere minutes. This rapid communication system had a massive impact on business, journalism, and military operations. News could be transmitted almost instantly, keeping the public informed of major events. Armies could coordinate movements more effectively, and businesses could communicate across vast distances with ease. Morse code was, in many ways, the first step toward the instant communication we take for granted today. One of the most famous uses of Morse code was in maritime communication. Ships relied on it to send distress signals, the most well-known being SOS. Unlike other messages, SOS was chosen because its pattern was easy to recognize and could be understood even by those unfamiliar with Morse code. During wartime, Morse code played a crucial role in military communication. Radio operators used it to send encrypted messages between units, 
and it was often the primary means of communication in remote or high-risk areas. Even when voice communication was impossible due to interference, Morse code signals could still be transmitted effectively. While Morse code is no longer a primary form of communication, it hasn't disappeared entirely. Many amateur radio operators still use it, and it remains a skill taught in certain military and emergency response training programs. NASA has even used Morse code to communicate with space probes, showing that this 19th century invention still has relevance in modern technology. Interestingly, Morse code has also been adapted for accessibility purposes. Some individuals with disabilities use it as an alternative communication method, such as tapping fingers to form dots and dashes. This shows that Morse code simplicity continues to make it a valuable tool, even in unexpected ways. If you're interested in learning Morse code, there are plenty of resources available. Many people start with simple mnemonics to remember common letters. For example, the letter F can be remembered with the phrase, firefighters fight. Practicing with flashcards, apps, or even tapping out messages on a table can also help reinforce your skills. One fun way to practice is by listening to Morse code recordings and trying to decode the message. Over time, experienced Morse code users, known as CW operators in the radio community, can recognize entire words just by hearing the rhythm of the signals. While digital communication has largely replaced Morse code in professional settings, it still holds a place in history and modern culture. It's a symbol of ingenuity and simplicity, demonstrating how a basic system of dots and dashes revolutionized global communication. Morse code has even found its way into pop culture. It appears in movies, video games, and even as Easter eggs in television shows. Some musicians have incorporated it into their work, tapping out hidden messages in songs. Its legacy lives on, proving that even the simplest forms of communication can stand the test of time. Morse code may not be something we use every day, but its impact on the world is undeniable. From revolutionizing communication in the 19th century to still being useful in the 21st, it remains one of the most ingenious inventions in history. Whether it's for emergency signaling, historical preservation, or just as a fun skill to learn, Morse code continues to captivate those who explore it. And that's how Morse code works, one of the simplest yet most effective communication systems ever created. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.